Hi and welcome to this video. My name is Jaime Valencia. I'm part of the PDA Technical Advisors in Cisco and today I'm going to show you how to perform the migration if you are running Virtual Telepresence Server 4.2 or earlier to Telepresence Server 4.3. I hope this is useful for you. In order to perform the migration to Telepresence Server 4.3, we need to install Python. The Python version needs to be at least 2.7.9 and it needs to be below version 3. I'm going to install 2.7.11, which was available as I'm recording this video. As you can see, we were able to install Python. I'm going to click on finish. And then we're going to open up a command prompt and we're going to start running the scripts. Once we have installed Python, you need to download the OBA for the Telepresence Server 4.3 and also this file redeploy underscore bts.zip. That is what we are going to be using. You need to have them both in the same folder. Then you need to open a command prompt. You need to browse over to that folder. Then you need to type Python redeploy underscore bts.zip You are going to get this new screen, this browser. You need to type in the vSphere location, the username and password. Since I'm using vCenter, I'm going to type those credentials. I'm going to click on connect. Then you need to browse to your telepresence server. You need to choose it, and then you need to scroll down and click on Add Selected. It will ask you for the credentials. And then we're going to click on Redeploy. As you can see, we can actually see that this is going on right now in my vCenter. It's redeploying the Telepresence server and you're going to get this one. I'm going to leave it like this so we can monitor both. If you look at the lower right corner of the video, you will see the serial number and the version of the Teleprint server that I had been running for a long time. I'm going to shut down that server and I'm going to start a new one and we will see what happens. Right now we are looking at the 4.2 server, which means that this is the old virtual machine that I had and this one, the TP server, is the new virtual machine with 4.3. Now I'm going to try to log back in into the Teleprint server. And as you can see, right now we have 4.3 running in this virtual machine. That means when you perform the redeploy task, the virtual machine, the original name, is going to be kept and you're going to get a copy or the old virtual machine with TP server and something like redeployed. In this case, that's because that was the name of my server. As you can see, I got all the same configuration that I had before. I had my serial number, the version, and if we go to the keys that I had installed, you will also see them. You should have all the same information that you had in your old server. And the only thing that I think changed was the certificate because I believe that is not my certificate. Apparently this procedure might not get your certificates. You will need to re-upload them. Once you have this, you can go and you can stop the process in case that it has not stopped. You only need to press Ctrl C. If you go to the folder where you had this, you will see that there is a log that you can also review. This was all the procedure that you had to do in order to redeploy your virtual machines from a 4.2 or earlier release to a 4.3. Thank you very much for watching this video and I hope this was useful for you. 